Sometimes on these broadcasts, I give you a homework assignment. Well, this week, I pray that it is a week for you to give yourself a vacation from judgment, where you don't pass judgment on other people. And this is sometimes hard because we find ourselves in a herd mentality where we will go with the mob, we'll go with those that are saying things, and we're especially, as a human mind, attracted to negativity. And what is said, either the TV says it, friends say it, co-workers say it, and then we tend to stay there in the mob thinking, well, not this week. This is a week to rise up spiritually, where you don't say anything or think anything against anyone else or any group of people or any political party. You are living a week of non-judgment, a week of love. It has been said perhaps the greatest blessing that religious inheritance can bestow is an open mind. One that can listen without judging. In Romans 2, verse 1, it says, You therefore have no excuse, you who pass judgment on someone else, for at whatever point you judge the other, you are condemning yourself. It's the old saying that when you point at someone with one finger, there are four fingers pointing back at you. The Bible tells us to resist the, the temptation that we all have to judge. See Matthew 7 verse 1. And yet the most merciful among us may occasionally fall prey to the powerful inclination to judge someone else or something else. When Jesus encountered a young woman who had been condemned by the Pharisees, the whole mob was saying to stone her, and he spoke not only to the crowd that had gathered to join in to the excitement of the condemnation, but also to future generations when he warned he that is without sin among you, let them first cast a stone at her. John 8, verse 7. Jesus' message here is clear, and it applies not only to the Pharisees of ancient times, but also to us. See, if we're going to be a Christian, if we're going to rise in our spirituality, we have to do it. And it has to be done on a daily basis. So the next time you're tempted to pass judgment on another human being as an individual or as a member of a group, catch yourself and, if you can, steer the group away from that kind of false judgment before you as an individual or they make a mistake. Don't be a judge. Be a witness instead of God's eternal love and God's eternal compassion.